Hey fellow tennis nerds, this video deals with Marat Safin and his racket. His full name is actually Marat Mubinovic Safin. Probably I pronounced that wrong. I'm not very good at Russian. Uh, he's retired, as you might know. He retired perhaps way too soon. He was a player that a lot of uh, people like to watch. Hit amazing power and um, consistency from both wings. Had a lot of feel. Uh, played with a really small racket, which was uh, perhaps a bit surprising to some. He actually used a Prestige Classic 600 for most of his career before he switched to another mold, a bit stiffer mold to get a bit more power. And uh, the, the way he could really pummel the ball with such a small racket with a small sweet spot is quite impressive. He started his professional career in 1997. He was actually number one in the world for nine weeks between November 2000 and April 2001. As you might know, he won his first Grand Slam title at the 2000 US Open where he beat Pete Sampras in the final and he also won the 2005 Australian Open uh, where he beat Leighton Hewitt in the finals. So he also won Davis Cup victories in 2002 and 6. Uh, so he was a very impressive tennis player, two Grand Slam titles, 15 ATP titles. So a very impressive record and uh, he was also quite impressive at breaking rackets. He got known for that quite a bit. Uh, he did have hot blood as they said and he really liked to throw his racket on the ground and show his frustration. Uh, he was quite good at that, broke quite a few rackets over the years and you can find plenty of videos and uh, pictures of Safin and his broken rackets. But uh, let's move over to talking about his frames. I mean, the Prestige Classic 600 is one of those icon iconic rackets. It was also used by Goran Ivanisevic and uh, a few other players. Um, Robin Hase actually used that frame in the Pro Stock mold called PT10 for a long time. He actually switched to the PT57A uh, just a, two years ago, I think. So they, he actually was one of the few players that played with a 90 or 89.5 square inch racket for such a long time. And now it's quite difficult to use those really small mid-size frames because you don't have enough forgiveness and it's going to be very tricky to hit with a lot of spin. Safin's specs for the Head Prestige Classic 600, he used Big Banger Original as 16 gauge. He strung it at around 28 kilos, so pretty high tension there. And uh, that's a very flexible frame, so uh, he couldn't get a lot of power out of that setup unless he had the technique for it. And he his um, specs were 347 grams with strings, 32 centimeter balance and 353 swing weight. So quite a hefty frame, not impossible to swing by any means, but he could put some real pace on it. His technique, especially on the backhand wing, is very impressive. It drives through the court on both wings and um, it's always, it was always fun to watch him hit those massive winners and he could move pretty well for a big guy too. So a great player to watch, definitely deserves to be in the Tennis uh, Hall of Fame, which he is uh, since a few years back. So a glorious career, a lot of achievements. Uh, Marat was always uh, a fan of the Head Prestige Classic 600, the true legend from Head. Uh, small head size, 89.5 square inches. Uh, it was listed as 93, but Head used to measure the outside of the frame and not the inside. So that's why there's a bit of a confusion around the racket head size. Uh, Safin used it around 353 grams. Uh, with strings, uh, Luxelon Big Banger, all the power, 16 gauge at 28 kilos. He got it up to uh, 353 grams and a 32.3 centimeter balance, uh, which is around five to six points head light. And he had, uh, he as the swing weight was 350 something. And um, so decently heavy spec not something crazy considering that the head size is a bit smaller he didn't use the head prestige class 6 600 for all of his career uh, actually it was a bit of a funny anecdote is that when he switched over to dunlop he got a sponsorship deal from dunlop i think around 2002 he uh, used that for a while but that was actually a head prestige 600 classic painted to look like a Dunlop Muscle Weave uh, 200G 90 square inch racket. So it was still his old racket that's based on old sources. It ended up uh, with head suing Dunlop for this. And uh, in the end, Marat actually switched back over to head. 
after all this, Dunlop said that they um, discontinued their partnership due to that he was smashing all of his rackets. But uh, that's probably not true, although I could see why that is an issue, the way he was breaking many, many, many rackets all the time. So uh, the Head Prestige Classic 600 was uh, actually the racket he used even when he had the Dunlop paint job. Nothing bad about the Dunlop racket, the Muscle Weave 200, it's a, it's a brilliant frame in itself, but he, but tennis ra tennis players are, are very skeptical towards skeptical towards changing a racket, and that's why you find these kind of crazy stories when a when he they're switching brands but actually using a racket underneath uh, from another brand. So that's a really weird situation, but it happens in tennis from time to time. And um, so head prestige classic six hundred. For most of his career, he did switch uh, towards uh, the later stages of his uh, career to the Microgel Prestige Mid, which has the Pro Stock code of 237.1, and he used it at around 359 grams and 32.3 centimeter balance, similar swing weight up towards the 350 mark. Um, and that's also a mid-size 89.5 square inch racket. The difference with this one and the Prestige Classic is that he got a bit more power with the microgel version, uh, while the Prestige Classic is really low powered. So that was a bit of the difference. But Safin pretty much stayed true to a head prestige mid for all of his career and has been seen also on the Champions Tour, the Veteran Tour, using uh, Pro Stock TGT29.2. 292.1, which is a uh, head IG prestige mid. So he still plays with a mid sized racket, as far as I know. If you know something else, please comment below uh, or on the website tennisnerd.net uh, so we can get this correct. But he's still actually swinging a mid sized racket these days when he's playing a more recreational or exhibition tennis, as far as I know. But uh, obviously, you get more forgiveness if you go up in head size, but you lack that uh, pinpoint precision and that beautiful feel of that uh, prestige rackets and the prestige mid, especially. So, if you haven't tried the prestige classic 600 or one of the better prestige mid rackets, uh, I really recommend that you do that. It's not very forgiving, not very easy to use, but has that beautiful pinpoint precision and feel. Well, that's all about Marat Safin's racket, um, a true legend on court, and um, very fun to watch even when he breaks his rackets. Uh, please let me know what you think about him and his career and playing style in the comments below. And if you need help choosing a racket, it's tennisnerd.net slash shop where you can purchase a racket consultation and you can weed down the number of models you need to look at and what strings you could potentially string them with. If you want more content like this, check out our Patreon page, patreon.com slash tennisnerd. That's all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.